How's it everyone? So, we've got uh, a lot of the big races coming up. And part of training is uh, to get ready for these big races. So it's fueling is one of them. And then um, we talk about like gut training, things like that. So uh, we've sponsored by some new products this year called Santa Madre. Um, they've got quite a unique product here called 100 grams of carbs in the drink. So that's full, 100 carbs. Um, so you've got to get used to that. Got to try it out first in training. Then I've got like a 60 gram gel. They've got a 60 gram gel as well. And then a 30 gram gel. And then a bar as well that's got uh, also 35 grams of carbs in it. So, um, and they've got a few different types of flavors. So I'm gonna in this video, uh, today's objective is to do 80 grams of carbs per hour. Uh, I've got quite a hard ride. I've got five hours with a uh, couple 12, 10 minute efforts with very little recovery in between each one. So it's, theoretically, it's like a two and a half hour effort. So to get through that, you need to make sure you're well fueled, you've eaten well, and uh, so that's what I'm gonna crack on in this video. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's not forget that I'm gonna be having a breakfast just before leaving. So I should be well fueled before I start. So roughly, I would say, if I'm trying to get you know, 80 grams of carbs an hour, I would count that first hour as a, you know, from breakfast. So theoretically, I'm gonna need about 320 grams of carbs for the ride. So I'll probably bang out two of these, spread throughout the ride. I'll have one water and one mix. Maybe I'll stop halfway and fill up with the sachet. And then um, I'll probably do two bars like this, which is 60 grams of carbs. So that's 260. Um, then I'll chuck in a in like a little gel. So that should be easy enough. And then I've also got like, if I don't feel like a bar, I'll also take like my trusted Spanish tortilla, which is good. So um, that'll be what I take for the ride today. And then um, let's see how, how I get on. But theoretically, if you're well filled, you should be able to get through these rides re relatively um, well. The power should drop off, obviously near the end of the ride, slightly, but uh, you should be able to to get through the ride without getting hunger flat. So that's what it looks like. Um, that's the that's kind of the composition for the ride. What I, this is the strategy I'm going to follow for the ride. Now to breakfast. So I've got some cooked oats. Good big bowl. Good big bowl of cooked oats. Then I'll I'll chuck a few little little crunchy bits, maybe a bit of like you know a bit of muesli or a bit of like. Um, all brand flakes, something like that. And then um, maybe like a banana. And then like a piece of toast or something before heading out. So a piece of toast with some jam or some cheese, something like that. So, um, and that's it guys. So then I should be, you know, that's gonna be a big bowl of, uh, of oats, probably 400 grams or so of oats, which is, which is pretty big. And then, um, and then the slice of bread. So I should be well filled for that first hour and then we'll kick on. Let's see how we go. So everyone, particularly these races that are coming up now, the classics, the Ardennes, they're really gonna be, they're really races of attrition. So, um, that's part of the reason for doing these, uh, you know, practicing 80 grams of carbs per hour or doing 100 grams of carbs per hour. So this is the theory behind it. And then uh, basically by the time you get to race day, your gut's used to handling what you're going to be force feeding it on the day. And also um, it's trial and error. So you also know by doing a ride like today, like the five hours, but it's basically like a three hours of efforts. Um, it's, uh, you'll quickly notice Ooh, in that last hour or two hours if you've got no energy that really means you've underfueled so that's the purpose of this ride and that's the, the whole game plan here so I'm going to be working on that and see how we go
done an hour. Now I'm going to start doing these efforts. So I'm going to strip down. Get a bit. Uh, it's going to be quite hard. The next three hours are going to be on. So 12 10 minute efforts, five minutes in between each. Riding at five minutes at 150, 155 feet per minute, over 110 cadence, and then five minutes lower, like 80, 70 to 80. So at a little bit less heart rate, 140 to 140, 145. So the T2 zone, so that's that fitness zone, that underlying base fitness. So it's going to be three hours. What I plan to do is, I plan to have like, you know, some of that, that bar that I showed you, and then Remember like the drink mix is so, so much. So 20 grams of carbs basically per 100 milliliter. So um, I'm gonna judge it. I'm gonna try to get 80 per hour and then uh, that's the strategy. You know, chucking some tortilla on the way and then uh, and I'll eat in between each break. So a little sip of water, maybe a little bit, a piece of bar and slowly keep eating along the way. So that's the strategy. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna crack on, so black eyes. No following car, <clears throat> but done seven of those 10 minute efforts. Remember the sachets, guys. Remember the sachets. Pull up with another one of these. Hang on. 100, 100 grams of carbs. Do this as quick as possible because I want to get out of here. I want to get going, I want to keep moving, it's like a pit stop, Formula 1. There you are, let me see how you might so I've done already 7 of those 10 minutes with a 5 minutes recovery in between each one. I've had 2 bars, it's 60 grams, a little bottle, 160 grams, about an hour 35 into the, into the efforts. Um, and one tortilla. So that's bringing us up to probably about 180, 180, 190 grams of pop. So we're on target, guys. One thing before, one thing before I get going. We still need to have water, guys. Don't just have carbs all the time. You need some water to flush things down. So remember. Okay, it's starting to creep up now and uh, sit and resort to this for this last hour of these efforts. And then I uh, had the tortilla to get me home and then I should be done. So, an hour and a bit left, 60 grams of carbs in this banger, so we should be good to go. Alright, so that's the end of the efforts. Um, done all of them. Uh, 12 by 10 minutes. It's been tough. Uh, let's just have a look at all the laps. If I go through it here, yeah, um, you can see the power slowly starts dropping off. 320, 330s. We started off at about 360, 340. There must have been cars in the way, but all around 356. But the last one ended at 338. Um, I'm pretty sure the average heart rate on all of them went up 150, 148, 148. If we go to the first ones, they're only at 134, 135. So we can see as the fatigue sets in, as the dehydration sets in, as fueling becomes important, 
Um, there actually wasn't a massive drop. I mean, obviously the heart rate goes up, but that's to be expected. But power-wise, um, there's only about, I don't know, six to eight percent off there at the end. So, and then staying in those heart rate zones. So, all in all, I think I feel pretty well. I've still got a bit of mix. That last hour and a bit, I probably used. Uh, I used the gel, which was 60, and then the, about half a bottle, which is another 50 grams. So, about 110 for an hour and a half. And then I've got my tortilla for the way home, and she's done. So I finished the bottle off, finished the tortilla off, an hour to go, bang on, I think uh, nailed it for the day. So, lacquer. Guys, I think that's how you feel for 80 grams per hour. And uh, remember, you need water as well. So don't just go and buy these heavy drink mixes, your gut will explode. So think about that. Be smart, be safe out there. Take a light with you for training. Hey? Be seen, be visible, be lacquer. Have a great week, guys. Catch up soon and enjoy the classics. Two hundred and five. Two fifty-five. Four hours in. Yep, long day. That's it, the end. 162Ks, five hours, two minutes, normalized power, 290. I mean, it's on, off, on, off. First hour, pretty easy. Last hour, pretty easy. And then those three hours in between. That was pretty tough. But yeah, I'm home now. I'm gonna carb up now, get a nice uh, plate of pasta or, or rice, or whatever my wife has prepared for me. Um, good wife, great wife, um, and then uh, recover for the next day. So, Raka nearly left out the most important part 4,400 kilojoules for the day. So, not too, yeah, that's solid, solid day. I think it filled well, everything done. Hope you guys uh, can use this as a tool, as, an, as a guide. Obviously, if you're doing less, you can. You know eat less but uh, if, you, if you're doing a pretty hard ride like this make sure you match what you what you're gonna put out so to get your best performance yeah.